my first impression was, are, are we at the right house? Functional, aesthetically pleasing, and just beautiful. Ah, ah, frequent work. Ah. Is this real? You guys did this in a day. Welcome to Flip My Florida Yard. You know, millions of Florida residents enjoy the benefits of living on or near water. Well, today, we're flipping a yard to show ways to better protect our waterfronts. We'll show you how a buffer zone can protect Florida's precious waterways. We can all have Florida right in our yard. We create a Florida-friendly landscape in an HOA community. It's important to get the HOA manual. Some have more restrictions than others. And of course, the reveal Remove you your have to see. <laughs> you guys created magic. All this on Flip My Florida Yard. Flip My Florida Yard is sponsored by the Florida Department of Environmental Protection. We're knocking on doors. So excited. And flipping yards into beautiful Florida-friendly landscapes. And all in eight hours. Is this really happening? Who's ready? Woo! Organized chaos. Experts show us how to use Florida-friendly landscaping it's principles. Putting the right plant in the right place. Water efficiently. Very low maintenance. Fertilized appropriately. All leading up to a dramatic reveal. Wow! the best surprise of our whole life. All right, we're here in Fort Myers, and it's a beautiful day to flip a yard. You guys ready to flip a yard? Yeah! All right, here we go. Let's go meet the homeowners. I just hope they're home. Greenbergs? Yeah! Well, come on out here. Is today the day? My name is Kathy, this is my husband, Bruce, and we're the Greenbergs. We were from northern Indiana, and like lots of people, we got tired of the snow. Look at this, beautiful. I prefer here by far. This particular neighborhood was built with a required stormwater retention system. That flows directly into the Caloosahatchee River, which is only about a half a mile from here. We're a part of an organization called Pond Watch, and we measure the phosphorus and the nitrogen in the water monthly, and it hasn't been good. I mean, as you can see, it's turf from the edge of the patio all the way down to the lake, and that's just an avenue for runoff. Frankly, we're hoping that the excitement that's being created by this project will encourage our neighbors to, to do the same. Before you guys leave, I have somebody I want to introduce you to, OK? okay. You ready? Follow me. All right. all right. Just a few people I want you to meet. This is your flip crew. <laughs> We have a lot of great people from the community who have come out to do this, really to try to help communicate this message of protecting our waterfront. I know you guys believe in that message, and that's something important to you. Absolutely. Big believers. Yes. You guys ready? We are ready. ready. Okay, follow me. Yeah. I think we might have keep Kathy here, because yeah. that kind of energy, we can get half the yard done by noon. Okay, you guys know where you're going, right? We do. Correction State Park. Yes, you're going to have a great day. It's a beautiful state park. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Yahoo. Oh, she's excited. Okay, guys, the Greenbergs just left. You know what that means. We had eight hours to flip this floor yard. A lot to do today. Mariah's giving us a really great design. Can we get it done? Yeah! yeah! All right, ready and go! Go, 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 Let the flip begin. The first order of business, removing almost all of the St. Augustine grass in the Greenbergs' backyard. It's got to go. It's got to go. This task involves a sod cutter, which literally cuts the grass into strips, making it easier to be picked up and hauled off. Let's check in with Lee County Extension Agent Stephen Brown. When I saw Mariah design, I thought it was really fabulous, because what she's done is she's introduced a good mix of colorful plants. She has introduced some nice ground cover, some nice plants of different heights. So I think what the homeowners are going to have, they're going to be surprisingly pleased by this. Stephen, we're taking out a lot of sod. Why are we doing that? We're taking out this sod in particular because it's what we call non-functional. It okay. doesn't serve the right purpose being that close to the water body. Because when you have sod, you got to maintain it. Fertilizer, herbicide, yeah. insecticide. So we want to make that landscape functional because of the potential damage runoff and everything else can do to our water body that we want to maintain. In this particular case, we have grass lawn going all the way down, not the most Florida friendly for this situation. And we're going to replace it with Florida friendly landscape plants 
that will help to keep that water body as clean as possible. I hope we didn't bite off more than we can chew. We still have a lot of work to get done today. You're yeah. staying here all day, right? Um, yeah, I'll stay here all day. <laughs> I'm in for the long run, yeah. All right, let's get started over here, all sir. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Leading this environmentally friendly waterfront flip is landscape architect Mariah Backey. So I know you met with the Greenbergs. They were really excited about having you on the job. Uh, what did they say when it comes to design? She really wanted a variety of plants. She wanted to attract bees, birds, butterflies, pollinator plants. So um, we did different kinds of gardens. So we did the waterfront, which is gonna help with the water flow and clean it before it gets to the water body. Yeah. And then we have a butterfly garden, we have a succulent garden. So she's gonna have a little bit of everything. This design was all about usability for Kathy and Bruce to be able to walk through it identify plants, be able to bring in birds and bees, butterflies, and not just a pretty aesthetic, but something that was actually doing something beneficial for the environment. You know, not just having something to pretty to look at, but functional. So let's talk about this 10-foot zone here from the water. What kind of plants are going in there and how important is that part of this for the design? Their whole idea was to clean that water before it hits the lake. So that 10 feet is all gonna be native wetland plants. So it's okay. gonna withstand some dry and some wet. So we wanna plant in that zone and then also bring it inland a little bit where it can stand a little bit drier conditions as well. How do you think Kathy's gonna react to her design? She's gonna freak out. She is super excited. Even when she left this morning, she yeah. was dancing, literally dancing. I can't wait for her to see this design. Well, there's still a lot to do, there's right? There's a lot to do. <laughs> <laughs> but our crews are amazing. They, they are. They're ripping out that sod. We're getting the plants laid out, so I, I feel confident. Today, we're in Fort Myers, transforming the Greenberg's backyard while they're off exploring Correction State Park. In less than an hour, our crew has removed almost all of the non-functional sod in the Greenberg's backyard. Our turf is really high maintenance, um, we, and we don't do anything with it. So if we can change the landscape and actually bring in some Florida native plants, better for the environment, and it's much more attractive to look at. With the sod gone, the task of installing almost 300 plants goes to Riverland Nursery owner Vince Muller and his team. What's it like to pull off something like this in one day? Um, it's a lot of organization, obviously, a lot of communication, teamwork. Are you seeing requests for more Florida-friendly landscapes? Oh, definitely. The goal, like you say, is Florida-friendly. You yeah. know, low-input plants, sustainability, drought tolerance, slow-growing, low-fertilizer loads. So that's kind of what we're all about. I mean, what's I mean, this message that we're trying to convey today mean to you? I'm an avid outdoorsman. I love everything water-related, boating, kayaking, fishing. And, and to be able to help plug in plants in folks' yard that really helps protect those resources, that's awesome. In 2018, this coastal area was hit with a devastating algal bloom. There were millions of pounds of fish that died. There were mammals that died. It made me so sad. Nitrogen and phosphorus are key ingredients in fertilizer, and reducing the runoff of these chemicals into our water bodies will help prevent harmful algal blooms. Really important that people get involved, learn what's going on, to reduce red tide, to reduce algae, which we've had in some of these bodies right here because of excess nitrogen fertilizers. It's all on us, and we got to do our best to make it better. So this is designed to take all the water from the site, and it runs into the lake. Yeah. So there is a little slope here. So all of this native vegetation, the roots are supposed to capture all that runoff, filter it out, clean the water, and hopefully by the time it hits the lake, it's cleaner water along with helping stabilize the soil so there's no erosion. Like a sponge almost, exactly. right? Exactly. So yeah, so you're supposed to have a 10 foot buffer, but you made it a whole lot wider, which is just gonna help, right? Exactly. That's, that's good, right? Yeah, and yeah. it'll be, you know, pretty low maintenance as well. They'll kind of take care of themselves. They wanted to keep that view out to the water too. Yeah. So it's all low growing. We did yes. some pops of color to make it fun, yeah. but mostly just native low plants. In the buffer zone, we do not mow, we do not fertilize, we do not apply pesticide. And if you do do any clipping, don't forget, take them up. We don't want them in the water. I love it, but I still see a lot of plants around here and they're not in the ground. Well, you know, I have a shovel over here if you want it. Oh, she has a shovel. <laughs> and you want me to use that shovel? Yeah, and I want you to work okay. overtime. So Stephen, lots of variety in this landscape, right? Absolutely, we have more than I can count. <laughs> Take me through some of the plants you're excited about in this design. Okay, let's go to the littoral plants. This is a canna lily, makes a beautiful water-loving plant. 
plus these beautiful blooms. It absorbs water, it helps clean the water. It's gonna be one of the plants in the 10-foot buffer, and I've seen this a lot in 10-foot buffers. What's next? The next one is a giant leather fern. But what are these plants' main job near the waterfront there? Basically, to keep the water pure and clean. They're gonna absorb nutrient, they're gonna help take out silt and any sediment that may be forming, and so these are going to be great for aquatic life and even for birds that visit. OK, what do we uh, got here, Steve? Yeah, this is, smells great. Oh, this yeah, is called, that. yeah, sweet almond. Ooh, and you can good. see why they call it sweet. Yes. It grows all the way up to central Florida. It will grow to be about seven feet tall. It, so this is a great selection. Look at all these flowers. Man, absolutely that's, gorgeous. That's most of the year. I'm excited about this next one here. Oh, I mean, yeah, look you at this, should be. Lots of color. Everyone is excited Ooh, about this. Look at this. It's Bahamas cassia. But if you look at it, it attracts butterfly, in particular, mm. the sulfur butterfly. It lands on this nectar and this, lays eggs on the leaves and on the flowers. So this serves both as a larval plant for caterpillars mm. and then for the mature butterflies. So this is all in one butterfly plant. I got one more here for you, Steve. Oh, gosh. I didn't know you were that strong. <laughs> <laughs> now, what is this? This thing looks incredible. Yeah, this is a beautiful plant. It's called the variegated false agave. It hasn't finished growing. As a matter of fact, it will get this tall and about wow. that wide. So it's a great plant. A real centerpiece in a it's landscape. It's a real centerpiece. This is what you want. And they got a couple more here. So this uh, landscape is going to look spectacular with this here. While we're busy in the yard, for the Greenbergs, it's a relaxing day at Koreshin State Park. Come along with us where a religious group in the late 1800s established a communal settlement. Visitors can walk or bike around the historic buildings, all while soaking in the natural refuge in the middle of Fort Myers. We want to thank Ranger Robert. He gave us a great tour. It's a great day, Ranger Robert. Thank you so much thank for having us. Thank you so much. Did you know there's a University of Florida IFAS Extension office in every county in our state? If you want a Florida-friendly landscape, this is where you start. We caught up with Tia Savesi at the University of Florida IFAS Extension Orange County office to learn more about the many services they provide. An extension office is a place that people can come and learn about solutions for their life from agriculture to horticulture to things like nutrition and weight loss. We have a beautiful space here. We have a four acre garden with 12 themed gardens and it's a great place for people to come and get ideas of what to plant in their yard. We'll walk them around the garden and show them some of the different plant selections that might be the right plant for the right place in their landscape. My favorite gardens here are the pollinator garden, which has a lot of flowers that attract bees and butterflies and hummingbirds, and also the vegetable garden, where we have a variety of vegetables. We have different demonstrations of how to grow food, and we show people how to grow in a raised bed, in an in-ground bed. We show them drip irrigation methods and seeding and transplanting. One of the most common things that people come in here is for their turf grass. And they'll bring in a sample of turf grass and then we can diagnose it for pests or disease and provide them with the solution to take care and make their turf healthier at home. A lot of people ask us, why do we use the word extension in our title? And it's because we extend the reach of the University of Florida top scientists and we put it in a form that's easily understandable to the general public. A lot of what we do here is to help people make decisions for their landscape that are Florida friendly about pesticides, fertilizer, and water that will ultimately help protect our natural environment. Now, back to our flip. The flip crew is working hard, replacing the Greenberg sod with Florida-friendly plants to prevent runoff into their backyard pond. There are 4,400 wet detention ponds just in Lee County, and every single one of those is an opportunity to clean water before it goes into our aquifer or before it goes into our water systems. But before we could start the flip, Bruce and Kathy had to submit Mariah's design to their homeowners association. We submitted drawings, we submitted photographs, uh, we submitted the data that was going to be done, contractor licenses, and from there, within a matter of a few days, the uh, Architectural Review Board had approved our project. HOAs are very important and they really serve a purpose because they maintain the quality of the community. So if you're going to do something different, be sure you get their cooperation so that um, everything flows smoothly. The 
Greenberg's flip is almost finished. This Florida-friendly design will protect the waterfront with a 10-foot buffer zone and conserve water. I think the only thing now is it's getting to the afternoon. We've been working so hard all day. It's been hot, so we just have a few more hours, and I hope we can knock it out. The Greenberg sprinkler system is being updated to better irrigate the new landscaping. <laughs> <laughs> Sprinklers work! <laughs> Fabio, hey, how, how are you doing, you? buddy? Hey, great. <laughs> you know, I just ran through your sprinklers. Tell me what you're doing today. I know you're adding on to their existing system, but what does that mean? What I did, they used the existing system and uh, retrofit and put them some heads around, lay out differently, okay. and space them out. And use this MP nozzle that use like a 30% less water than the regular one. The updated irrigation system, combined with the use of drought tolerant plants, will significantly reduce the amount of water the Greenbergs use for irrigation. Pretty much finished, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty much done. Just done the final touch and everything will be okay. Okay, Ooh. all right, buddy, I'll let you finish. <laughs> Thank you. With the sprinklers in place, Mariah and her crew lay out the flagstone pathways. Perfect, okay. Which is literally like Perfect. trying to put Perfect. together a giant puzzle. You want it to look naturally broken? Yeah. You have to lay it out just right. What's this gonna add to the landscape? So much. The whole purpose behind their garden is a walking garden. Yeah. It's an immersive experience yeah. having a pathway like this, getting rid of all the sod, and just having plants popping up around you. Is it looking how you thought it would look when you put it on that piece of paper? It's looking better. Okay. It's looking better. <laughs> they're, right. they're gonna, go, freak, go, they're, they're gonna go. freak out. They're gonna freak out. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> With the afternoon winding down, the final pieces are put into place, and I finish up a surprise for Bruce and Kathy. There we go. Oh, yeah. You know, the Greenbergs wanted to attract wildlife, and really, they wanted to attract birds. So I wanted to build them a little bit of a bird condo where the birds could come here, nest. And uh, this is really simple to build. This is a 4 by 4 pressure-treated post. I took some wood dowels, put a little end here in case they want to hang something. This also serves as a little bit of a perch. Bought these little bird houses. Real simple to do, and you'll get so much enjoyment once these birds start settling in and nesting. This is going to be a real focal point of their new Florida-friendly landscape. Homeowner's going to be here in 30 minutes. Come on, guys. Working with new people today has been super fun. We've been working with the University of Florida, Riverland Nursery, the irrigation company, and then some master gardeners as well. So everybody is here for a different reason, for a different passion that they see in the landscape. All right, this yard is officially flipped. Are you happy? I'm happy. I feel accomplished and I feel exhausted. <laughs> Are you shocked that we did it? I am shocked that we did it, yes. <laughs> but we did and it looks awesome. So much in eight hours. I mean, it looks incredible. They are going to just, they're, they're going to lose their mind when they see yeah, their they backyard. Mm. This is the time. <laughs> wow. We are excited. <laughs> I had to put a diver's weight belt around her to keep her feet on the ground. <laughs> Didn't work. We're going to put these on. I love them. And we're going to go for a slices. little walk. Are these honey bells? <laughs> Those are honey bells. Beautiful. Actually, actually, Valencia. Our glasses are working. Let's get our homeowners in their backyard. Okay. You guys All right. hold All on to each I'm other. I'm looking down. I'm okay. looking down. I'm yeah. looking down. You can kind of look down. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. <laughs> okay, now stop. Now, are you ready? We are ready. <laughs> we are, are you ready? guys ready? Yay! One, two, three. Remove your glasses. Before, the Greenberg's backyard was mostly non-functional turf leading all the way to the water's edge. Now, it has a buffer zone designed to protect the waterfront, a butterfly garden and birdhouse that will attract wildlife, an updated water-efficient irrigation system, and a beautiful flagstone pathway woven throughout the landscape. When Kathy and Bruce took off their glasses, I was so happy to see the reaction. They were ecstatic. It exceeds my expectations, I had, that's for sure. I had no idea. This is like, I feel like a princess and this is my royal garden. When I took my glasses off, so much had changed, I didn't know where to look. My first impression was, are, are we at the right house? I knew it was gonna be great, but I had no idea that it was gonna be this cool. Oh, look at this, so cute, I love them. I love birds, I'm a birder. We're gonna have bird nests. Dum -dum. We are going to have some happy wildlife around here. I love the stone, but it is just magnificent. This is unbelievable. Wow. You did an amazing job translating into a canvas that yeah. you, you've painted. All the craziness was completely worth it. Completely worth it. At certain points, I didn't know if it was going to get done. I think they're just ready to enjoy it now. And I want to give it up for the crew behind us that made this possible. Give it up amazing. for them. Amazing. 
Thank you Good so job, guys. much. You guys created magic right here in our backyard. The Greenberg's new yard will serve as an example for their neighbors to see the beauty and diversity of a Florida-friendly landscape and how it can have a positive impact on our environment. Well, that's our show. We hope you're inspired to help Florida's environment by starting in your own yard. And remember, everyone doing a little, well, that's a whole lot. Flip My Florida Yard was brought to you by the Florida Department of Environmental Protection in partnership with the University of Florida Institute of Food and Agricultural Sciences Florida Friendly Landscaping Program. Here we are in front of our beautiful Florida Friendly Landscape. It's a playground for butterflies, birds, bees. Well, we've also been enjoying meeting some neighbors that have stopped by to visit. So right. thank you, Flip My Florida Yard. It's been a wonderful experience.